Welcome to the West Sound Time Bank. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your profile and contact information. Just a note, anytime you're doing something that changes information on our online platform, you'll have best results if you're using the latest version of Microsoft Internet Explorer. Other browsers will work for most things, but you might need to reload the page from time to time. First, I want to show you my page. This is what your profile and contact information looks like to other members. You can see your name, statistics about your use of the time bank, and various ways to get a hold of you. Then you see all the services you've listed. Those you're willing to provide are at the top, and those you want to receive are at the bottom. We'll go over how to add services in the next video. To edit profile information, visit the My Profile page. Here you see those statistics again, as well as your name and address, your birthday, and your bio. Make sure your address is up to date. It's only visible to you and the Time Bank administrators, so your privacy is protected, but the address is used to calculate the distance from your home to the homes of other members. For example, here's the page for another member of the Time Bank. I can't see Mona's address, but I can see that her house is 1.1 miles away from mine. That's pretty close, so if I'm looking for someone to sit for a painting, I might contact Mona before I would contact another member who lives farther away. The My Profile page is also where you can add a short bio to introduce yourself to other members. Now if you make changes to this page, remember to click Save at the top of the form. If you don't save, all your changes will be lost and you'll have to do it all over again. To update your contact information, click on the My Contact Info. Any information you listed when you signed up for the Time Bank should be in here. Your email, phone number, etc. To change any of these things, Type in the box, and then click Save. If there's an item you don't want to display on your page, you can either mark it private by clicking the button in the Private column, or you can remove it entirely by clicking Remove. Just as a demonstration, let's hide the work phone number. Currently it's listed as Not Private, and to change this I just click the button, and my profile page will update to show that it's now marked private. If you choose to hide your email address, members will still be able to contact you through the platform. They just won't be able to see what your address is. Here's an um, another member who's chosen to hide all of his contact information, including his email. So all it shows is a link that says Message Me. Notice that there's a space here for your address. This is where you would enter your address if you do want it to be displayed on your page. It'll also display a link to a Google Map to help other members find you. There's also a variety of other types of information you can add if you like. First choose the type. Let's add a Twitter address. And then enter the information. Mark it private or not as you choose, then click Add Contact Info. Now that we've done that, let's take a quick look at my page so we can check and see if our changes have been made. And it looks like they haven't, but I'm going to go up here and click Refresh just in case the page needs to be refreshed. Yep, there we go. So now the work phone number has been hidden and your Twitter handle has been added. Thanks for watching.